welcome to this video about air travel and how to make it enjoyable so today i will share with you 10 tips which have helped me in the last 10 years while traveling to different countries let's dive right into it number one when you are booking your flight if you are afraid of flying or you do not like turbulence then i would suggest you pick a seat in the middle of the plane these seats tend to be a bit more stable so you do not feel the bombs and the shakes if you want to get on and off the plane pretty quickly and efficiently then sitting at the front of the plane will be your best bet if you're after a really good service and also be close to the toilet i recommend you sit at the back of the plane if you like nice views and you want to get some good rest then i recommend my personal favorite which is the window seat number two saving money on flights if you're trying to travel on a budget or you're after cheap flights then definitely travel light a lot of local carriers like ryanair easyjet wiz air and a few others in europe tend to have these base fares that basically just includes a personal item i.e a backpack or a handbag that fits under the seat in front of you if you cannot pack light then you have the option of a carry-on instead of a checked in bag which will work out less expensive tip number three this one is pretty basic but still worth mentioning make sure you check in online and download all of the documents onto your phone if you have an iphone like me you can add your boarding pass to the wallet also it is a good idea to download your airlines app as this is where you will get the most up-to-date information with regards to your flight tip number four credit card if you have a credit card check what perks might come with it some credit cards give you access to a lounge at the airport on others you can get miles with your everyday purchases like grocery shopping once you accumulate these miles this can result to a free plane ticket or an upgrade tip number five before you go to the airport make sure you pack an empty water bottle there is nothing more annoying than getting to the airport and you have to pay about three pounds for a bottle of water when you can get free water from the fountains provided at the airport tip number six i will suggest you put all of your liquids into one of the transparent pouches before you get to the airport i find it really annoying when i have to rummage through my bag to find all of it regardless of how i try to pack them together before leaving the house somehow it just gets really annoying so that might be a good idea to do that before you get to the airport tip number seven these are a list of things that you should bring with you a charger obviously you will be needing one so it makes sense to bring your charger with you as you might need to charge your phone while at the airport waiting for your flight or on the aircraft with the usb cable so you can also bring your own food and snacks to save you on buying expensive food at the airport also bring a sweater or a scarf as airplanes get pretty cold especially the window seats so that will just help you to become more comfortable while you're on the flight if you are going on a long haul flight it might be a good idea to invest in some compression socks as they improve your circulation also a good set of earphones or headphones is a good idea because although they do give you some of these on the long haul flights they are not noise cancelling and they're a bit meh Another idea will be to have a little bag which contains all the essentials you will need on the plane like hand sanitizers, hand cream, lip balm, chewing gums or medications. Whatever you think you will need on the plane it's just good to have it all in one place to make your life easier. Tip number eight, 
get to the airport early this is so important as people miss their flights when they're able to get to the airport on time or if this, there's a long queue at security or check-in or boarding it just makes sense for you to get to the airport really early also if you park your car at the airport make sure you take a photo of where you are parked as it's quite easy to forget if you have luggage to check in and you've got fragile items in them you can, you can always request for a fragile sticker to be put on your bag so that it will be handled with care also when you get your baggage receipt do not lose them i repeat do not lose them unless you've taken a photo of them because you might just need this if anything happens to your luggage number eight the dirtiest place at the airport is not the toilets as a lot of people think it is the trays where you put your luggages in at the security people put all sorts in there dirty boots name the rest so a wise idea would be to bring hand sanitizer that you can use when you're done handling those number nine if you get to your gate and it is incredibly busy with no seats and you really want to sit down then just go and sit at another gate closer to yours while you're waiting at least you can see or hear all the information you need to if you start boarding and while you're waiting at your gate this might be a good idea to this might be a good time to download the movies on netflix or amazon prime which you can watch at the airport or on the aircraft on to my last tip number 10 let's just throw in this one last sneaky tip if your carry-on is overweight i suggest you buy something at duty free and get one of those big airport shopping bags and stuff your excess stuff in it because they are unlikely to weigh that or even give it much thought if it is stuff you bought at the airport these were my tips i hope you enjoyed them and if you have some more leave them in the comment section below otherwise i do videos every saturday and i hope to see you then thank you for watching